What is up guys and girls, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you why for wireless 4G is better than the MBN. Normally, I take screenshots and recordings and things like that, but this, I wanna show you live time. So check this out. All right, to be honest, that was probably one of the worst tests that, that I've gotten. And I think that's because I'm wirelessly um, projecting to the screen behind me, which must be interfering with the signal. But normally I'm getting 90 megabits a second or more. Just before I ran this test, I was getting about 150 megabits a second and it is 8.30 at night. So this is peak time for internet usage. Optus and all the other MBN providers, they say on average you get 44 megabits a second. On one of my worst runs, I got 76. And I can almost guarantee that when I disconnect from the, the wireless display here, I'm gonna go back to about 150, 120 megabits a second. Cool, so you see my theory was correct that as soon as I disconnected from the wireless display, um, I'm now getting about 150 megabits a second uh, download. Cool, I've projected back up just because that's a prettier picture of my dog to look at than the wireless display screen uh, that would show otherwise. Um, so what's the purpose of this test? It is to show that 4G, uh, wireless 4G plans, are not just only a viable alternative, but can be a much better alternative to the MBN. If you think your monthly usage of data is 500 gigs or less, I would definitely recommend you to consider getting a 4G or even now a 5G wireless broadband. They're easy to set up, they're portable so you can move them around the house, and as you've seen in peak times, I'm getting more than double um, what Optus and Telstra are rating as their, you know, their average um, download time for peak periods. So the wireless modem I use is the Huawei B525, which looks like a standard modem, except for the fact that at the bottom here, it's got a SIM card slot. So I've got a SIM card from Spintel, which works on the Optus network in there. I have that, you have the power cable, and that's really all you need to get hooked up to the internet. One of the better things about going wireless as well is that you don't have to be plugged into a certain spot in your house or your apartment. You can literally move the wireless broadband with you. So if I wanna connect it to the Xbox, hook it up to the Xbox. If I wanna move it into the study where I need better connection for work calls, I bring it into the study. If I wanna be in the living room and you know you want the best internet connection in the living room, literally just plug it into a PowerPoint in the living room. Um, and this means that no matter what part of the house I'm in, I can always make sure that I have the best internet. I literally just carry that, plug it into the PowerPoint, and we're good to go. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments in the section below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.